guys, today I'm going to show off all the books I got for Christmas. As you can tell from the thumbnail, I somehow managed to get so many books for Christmas despite only asking for two from my parents. I managed to have accumulated about 12. So I'm going to show you all the things I got. The first one I actually got a couple days before Christmas when I went to Birmingham to meet up with Maddie and B from A Heart Full of Books and Karis from Karis the Reader. And this is Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. This is from the Spinster Club trilogy which they all absolutely love. And as far as I know, it's about female friendship and feminism and it's just a really cute contemporary, so that just sounds great and they've given it great recommendations. So I said to them, which is the first book in the trilogy? And they said it was this one, so I bought it while I was with them and I'm really excited to read it. And then the next two books are ones that my boyfriend Robin got for me. The first one is The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. This was, I've never heard of this, it was just a really cute surprise and me and him went to Paris together a few years ago. And he just said, like, this is about a barge that has that is a bookshop and it's in Paris. So I thought it linked to us really well and I thought that was really cute. I don't know what this is about. It feels like a really nice, summery, romance, adorable read. And the second book that Robin got for me is Never Night by Jay Kristoff because I was shopping with him in London and I spotted this in Forbidden Planet and just randomly said, like, oh, I want that book. I've never seen that in a bookshop before, but I didn't buy it. And he remembered, which I thought was really, really sweet. So he bought it me for Christmas in this gorgeous hardback. Like, this is just such a nice cover. I don't know too much of what this is about, but I've heard great reviews from Little Book Owl, her actual name, Katrina. Katrina from Little Book Owl has talked about how much she loves this book, and I just know that it's a fantasy. And that's basically all I need to know to want a book, really, is if it's epic fantasy. And this is gorgeous and I can't wait to get to it soon. The next couple of books are books I got from my parents for Christmas that I asked them for. The first one is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. This, I don't really know much about this, but I remember saying I wanted more books about older teenagers and about university and things like that. And this got recommended to me. I think she's in sixth form and it's just about her dealing with that. I don't really know. I've just heard really great reviews. Maddie and B, it was on their favourite books of the year list and I'm just really pumped to read it. It seems like a contemporary but one that's a little bit more relatable for me as a older, well, I'm 20 now, but it's like the older spectrum of YA. So hopefully this is really, really good. And the next one, much to Amy's dismay, is Hagsy by Margaret Atwood, one of her least favourite people, but I've never actually read anything by Margaret Atwood. And this is part of the Hogarth Shakespeare series. So these are all books where they're taking current modern writers and they get given a Shakespeare play and asked to like rewrite it in a modern story. And this is The Tempest, which I really enjoy. Recently went to see it at the RSC and we've got a vlog of that coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know how she's really twisted it. I think it's set in a prison or something. Probably focuses on the character of Caliban a bit because I think he's called Hagseed in the play. I'm not sure. But I think this is a really pretty cover and I kind of want to get all of these Hogarth Shakespeare's in hardback and read them all because they just seem really, really interesting. And the last thing my parents got me for Christmas is this gorgeous Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets illustrated edition. I've wanted this since it came out but I've been waiting till Christmas and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the experience of reading Philosopher's Stone illustrated. It was on my top books of 2016 because it just really added to the experience and I've been waiting for this. I can't wait for Prisoner of Azkaban to come out next year because that's like one of my favourite Harry Potter books. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. The art is beautiful. I try not to flick through it too much because I want it to be a surprise. I'm not looking forward to the to the gigantic Aragog drawings. They're going to be a bit horrible. But I'm just so excited to read this. It looks amazing. And these next four books are all books I bought for myself on Boxing Day with some Christmas money. The first one you will have seen me talk about a couple of times now because it was in my December wrap-up and January TBR because I read half of it in December. That is All We Shall Know by Donnell Ryan. This is just a gorgeous cover and like I said in those videos, Ariel from Ariel Bassett has been raving about this book and saying how amazing it is. So when I saw it in Waterstones with the blue pages and it's actually signed, I thought oh, I have to pick that up. But I didn't really know what much what it was about. I'm not super invested in the plot of this but it's still, hopefully, I like it in the end because it is still really, really well written and it's so pretty that I just want to love it really. But I have had a few favourite quote moments and I'm just interested to see where this story goes. And also in Waterstones I picked up a couple of other adult books that are more like literary fiction. The first one being Grief is the Thing with Feathers by Max Porter, which also sounds depressing so I'm probably not going to read it straight after all we shall know. I honestly picked this up because this is a quote that John Green says all the time in his podcast. I don't, it's from an Emily Dickinson poem or something and it's just a really interesting quote and this 
is about, I think it's these two boys coming to terms with their mother dying, but this like crow comes to their house and won't leave until their grief leaves or something. It just seems to be like super metaphorical and have a lot of deep meaning. And it's also really, really short and I'm just really interested by it. It's very intriguing and hopefully it's really good. And the other more literary fiction type book I picked up is The Vegetarian by Han Kang. I haven't heard much about this, I've heard some mixings, but as far as I know it's set in Korea I think, and it's about this woman who becomes a vegetarian, which isn't really something that many people do, so that seems quite subversive, but I think it's all a big metaphor for feminism or something like that, and her being like a subversive woman and not doing what she should be doing. I'm not really sure but this just sounds really interesting. It won the Man Booker International Prize and it's quite short so I'm really hoping that I like this. And the next book I was not expecting to buy, it was on my Christmas list but I didn't end up receiving it from Santa but that's okay. And it's The Girls by Emma Klein and I was in Tesco and they had this gorgeous hardback for £5 and I was just kind of like oh my god that it should be about 12. So I was really really happy and had to snap it up. I don't know much about this but I remember hearing really intriguing things about this gang of girls in the 80s or 90s that become part of this like cult who worship this murderer or something like it just sounds really twisted but really really interesting um so i'm not too sure about their details but i kind of don't want to know very much i remember hearing a summary that was enough to make me want it so i kind of want to go into it blind and see what happens and the last thing i have to haul is saving the best till last this is amy's amazing ridiculously over the top present for me for christmas was the deluxe edition of harry potter and the philosopher's stone this is like, there's only a couple of hundred of these or something like it. It's super just amazing and special. And it's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. It's so heavy. So sorry if I just have to put it down. But it's purple and gold. And I just couldn't believe it when I wrapped it. Like, I thought it, she maybe got me this. Because I was like, I remember mentioning it to her. But I was like, no. And look, it's just like the golden snitch on the slip case. And then this is what the inside looks like. So that's like Diagon Alley in like embroidered gold and the pages are gold which is just the most gorgeous thing and then it's just like the illustrated harry potter but the colors seem better in this than in the normal version it just seems like more high-end and fancy and it's got a big diagon alley poster in the back which i would get out but i'm gonna drop it because it's so heavy so i just don't know what to do with this like i want to read it obviously but i also feel like i shouldn't touch it without wearing gloves and i feel like i should just keep it in its precious perfect condition and just wait until I meet J.K. Rowling and get it signed. If ever I am lucky enough to meet the like big names of Harry Potter, they're signing this because it's just the most beautiful thing I own. I don't know what to do with it. I'm just kind of like, it doesn't even fit on my bookshelf because it's so massive and gorgeous and purple and gold. And I love it so much and she's the best friend ever. I know they're all upside down, but these are the books I got for Christmas, excluding the illustrated Harry Potters because I couldn't manage to lift those up. In the thumbnail, Amy was holding them for me, which is why it looks like they're just like floating around my head. But I have obviously got plenty to keep me going, reading wise. I always do this. I have so many books to read, but I always buy more because it just makes me so happy. And everyone buys me books for gifts because it makes me so happy. And I'm just so excited about all of these books. They all look amazing. Let me know down below what books you got for Christmas. And I'll see you on the next video, even though I can't wave. Bye!